Wow, you guys, I am astounded by the activity on my channel since yesterday, June 23rd. Uh, you know, before the day, that day began, I had around uh, you know 136 subscribers or so, and you know by the end of the day, I, I mean like right now, I currently have over 500. Right? Something like 400 of you, maybe a little bit, you know, around 400 of you, have uh, joined the the channel, subscribed to the channel. And again, that allegory video had maybe 80 views, and now it's over 20,000 views. I, I'm, I'm I'm floored. It's, that's a whole lot to happen in one day. I'm glad you like the allegory. I'll try not to take your subscription for granted. I hope that you learn to think philosophically, and I hope that these videos help you do so. You know, I'm pretty, pretty well aware that I can't make you believe anything, and, and that's fine. I don't want the responsibility of making you believe anything. What I can do is I can, uh, you know, speak as if I know something with certainty and that's true. Yeah, you, you know, uh, that's just the normal way of speaking. I get it. Uh, I can propose ideas, evidence for you to examine. I can uh, give you arguments. I can tell you uh, a lot of what the philosophers have said through history. That's what I can do. But beyond that, you have the freedom, and again, maybe the last freedom you ever have, you have the freedom to use your mind to put that evidence together, to evaluate those arguments, and to the best of your ability, discover the truth, the truth of our lives. You have that freedom, and you have that responsibility. If you're going to take up this project of actually voicing your conclusions, you are now incurring a responsibility. To be candid, I want you to keep me honest. It's only through the free exchange of ideas that we can ever uncover our own errors. In other words, if I'm gonna figure out where I'm making a mistake, I'm gonna need an outside observer. We are notoriously blind to our own errors. You know, what I'm really hoping is that you help keep, keep people honest. Don't be rude, but keep people honest. That includes yourself. Keep people honest through the use of reason. Experts are great. Experts are an excellent source of evidence. But merely because an expert says something does not necessitate that it's true. Keep people honest. And I'm also not suggesting that you be skeptical for the sake of being skeptical. That's not the use of reason either. Keep people honest through the use of reason. This involves collecting evidence putting the evidence together to see what truth relations hold between them to imply a conclusion. That's argument. Argument is not just shouting at each other. So collect evidence, use argument, and in, you know, in the case of disagreement, which, let's face it, is going to happen, use reason to figure out whether the argument is flawed or whether there's some problem with the evidence. To do other than this, to, to uh, disagree or to, you know, to you know, give a conclusion without the use of reason is simply trying to bully people into your, your, the conclusion that you want. Because all it is, it says, believe this because I say so. That's not reason. It's not honest. So yeah, hopefully you can keep me honest. You can keep you honest. And together, we can continue down this road. Because let's face it, we're on this road together for a really long time.